What if the stones of Stonehenge could talk? What stories would they tell about the past? This is the question we embark upon as we delve into the early history of the British Isles, a history that is as fascinating as it is ancient, with roots extending back to the Stone Age, when the first settlers began to shape the landscape. Imagine a time when mammoths roamed the land, and early humans huddled around fires crafting tools from flint and bone. These were the first architects of Britain, their legacy etched into the ground in the form of ancient burial mounds and enigmatic stone circles. The most famous of these, of course, is Stonehenge, a mysterious monument whose purpose continues to baffle us even today. Who built it? How? And most intriguingly, why? As we move forward in time, we encounter the Celts, a culture rich in art and mythology. They were the weavers of enchanting tales, the creators of intricate gold and silver works of art, and the speakers of languages that still echo in the Welsh and Gaelic tongues of today. But the tranquility of the Celtic era was not to last. In the first century BC, the shadow of a new power loomed over the British Isles, Rome. Led by the ambitious Julius Caesar, the Romans invaded, bringing with them a new language, new gods, and a new way of life. They built roads and walls, baths and amphitheaters, and established the city of Londinium, a settlement that would one day grow into the bustling metropolis we now know as London. These early chapters of Britain's history are filled with tales of conquest and resistance, of innovation and adaptation. They tell the story of a land and a people in the throes of transformation, laying the groundwork for the nation that was to come. From these early foundations, a nation began to take shape, setting the stage for a rich tapestry of history. But this is just the beginning of our journey. Join us as we continue to explore the captivating chronicles of Great Britain. In the shadow of the Roman departure, new kingdoms rose and fell. Who were the players in this complex game of power? As the Roman legions withdrew from British shores, the island was left to its own devices. The land was ripe for new leaders, new power struggles, and new tales of heroism and treachery. The Dark Ages, a period often misconstrued as a time of cultural stagnation, were anything but. In fact, it was a time of dynamic change and cultural fusion. It was during these uncertain times that the Viking seafarers from Scandinavia began to make their mark. They were not just raiders, but also traders and settlers who left an indelible impact on the British Isles. As the Viking Age waned, a new force emerged on the horizon, the Normans. Led by their ambitious Duke William the Conqueror, they invaded England in the year 1066. The famous Battle of Hastings marked the beginning of the Norman rule and the end of the Anglo-Saxon era. William's reign brought significant changes, including the introduction of the feudal system and the consolidation of a centralized monarchy. Fast forward to the 12th century, a period marked by the rule of one of England's most iconic kings, Richard the Lionheart. Known for his role in the Crusades, Richard's reign, albeit brief, was marked by a sense of chivalry and adventure that still captivates the imagination today. The Middle Ages were also a time of significant political evolution. In the year 1215, under pressure from rebellious barons, King John was compelled to sign the Magna Carta. This legendary document, often regarded as the cornerstone of modern democracy, established the principle that even the monarch was subject to the law. The stage was now set for a period of great change and tumult, the Renaissance and the Reformation. Indeed, the Middle Ages were not just a prelude, but a vital chapter in the grand narrative of British history. A time of warriors and kings, of power struggles and political evolution, it laid the groundwork for the era that was to follow. Imagine a time of great change when old ideas were challenged and new ones were born. What sparked this revolution of thought? Welcome to the Renaissance and Reformation in Britain a period of upheaval, transformation, and enlightenment. Let's start with the larger-than-life figure of King Henry VIII. A monarch of appetites, his desire for a male heir led him to break with Rome and establish the Church of England. This was no small feat. It was a seismic shift in power and faith that forever altered Britain's religious landscape. Henry's reign also saw advancements in culture and learning in line with the spirit of the Renaissance. 
education became more widespread and the arts flourished, paving the way for Britain's literary golden age. Following Henry, his daughter Elizabeth I ascended the throne. Known as the Virgin Queen, she ruled during a time of immense cultural and economic growth. Her reign, often referred to as the Elizabethan era, was a time of exploration and expansion. It was during Elizabeth's reign that Sir Francis Drake circumnavigated the globe, and the foundations of the British Empire began to take shape. Under Elizabeth, the arts thrived. The theater became a popular pastime, and playwrights such as William Shakespeare penned works that are still revered today. It was an age of enlightenment where science, exploration, and the arts were celebrated. The Reformation and the Renaissance were not just about kings and queens, though. They were about the people, the shift in societal norms, and the transformation of thought. These were times when the human spirit soared, curiosity was encouraged, and the world as it was known began to change. These events shaped the future of Britain, leading to a time of exploration, innovation, and empire. From the establishment of the Church of England to the reign of Elizabeth I, this period set the stage for the Britain we know today. A nation rich in history, culture, and complexity. At its height, the sun never set on the British Empire. But what led to its rise and what were the consequences of its fall? The 18th and 19th centuries were marked by a significant expansion of the British Empire, a period often referred to as the Age of Empire. The British Empire stretched across the globe from North America to the Caribbean, Asia to Africa, and the Pacific Islands. This was largely driven by the spirit of exploration, military conquest, and the desire for economic gain. Trade in goods such as tea, sugar, and tobacco, as well as the exploitation of resources and labor in the colonies, contributed significantly to Britain's wealth and global influence. This was also the time of the Industrial Revolution, a period of rapid industrial growth and technological innovation that began in the mid-18th century. The advent of steam power, the development of machinery for manufacturing, and the establishment of factory systems transformed Britain into the world's leading industrial nation. This in turn fueled the expansion of the British Empire as the country sought markets for its manufactured goods and sources for raw materials. The Victorian era, named after Queen Victoria, who reigned from 1837 to 1901, was a time of significant social, political, and cultural change. This period saw the expansion of the British railway network, the introduction of widespread education, and major reforms in public health and sanitation. It was also a time of immense cultural output, with the works of authors like Charles Dickens and the Bronte sisters, reflecting the complexities and contradictions of the era. However, the Age of Empire was not without its controversies. Imperial expansion often led to the subjugation and exploitation of indigenous populations, and the consequences of this are still being grappled with today. The legacy of the British Empire is still felt today in Britain and around the world. The English language, legal systems, educational institutions, and cultural influences are testament to this. As we move forward, it's essential to remember this period, not just for its achievements, but also for the lessons it offers on the impacts of imperialism. In the 20th century, Britain faced two world wars, social change, and a new global order. How did it navigate these challenges? As the sun set on the Victorian era, the world was plunged into the throes of the First World War a conflict that forever altered the landscape of the globe. Britain, too, was irrevocably changed, losing an entire generation to the trenches of the Western Front. The interwar period was a time of social and political change. Women, having proven their worth on the home front, won the right to vote. The Labour Party emerged as a major political force, championing the rights of the working class. The Second World War saw Britain once again answering the call to arms. The Blitz spirit, that quintessential British resilience, was born amidst the rubble of London. Post-war, Britain underwent a process of decolonization, granting independence to many of its colonies and beginning the transformation from empire to commonwealth. In the wake of these wars, the United Nations was established with Britain as one of the founding members. The world, however, was soon divided by the rise of the Iron Curtain, 
marking the onset of the Cold War. Britain, allied with the United States, found itself in a new global order. As the 20th century came to a close, Britain faced another shift, the decline of its manufacturing industry. The 80s and 90s saw a transition towards a service-based economy, with London emerging as a global financial hub. The dawn of the 21st century brought with it a fresh set of challenges. The debate over Britain's role in the European Union culminated in the Brexit referendum in 2016. This decision to part ways with the EU sent shockwaves across the continent and is reshaping Britain's place in the world. Today, Britain continues to evolve, shaped by its past and looking towards its future. Its history, marked by resilience and adaptability, offers valuable lessons as it navigates the complexities of the modern era.